Watson's. Welcome to Watson's Stay Healthy at Spray Tips. And in today's video, we have Dr. Javanan here to have a quick understanding about allergic rhinitis. So Dr. JJ, can you tell us more about allergic rhinitis? Allergic rhinitis is basically a disease of the nose where there's a lot of misnomers. People call it rust dung, sinus or problem. Sinus, yeah. yeah. In ENT, we have a very clear definition for allergic rhinitis. Mm -hmm. It's basically running nose, sneezing, Itchy eyes, itchy nose, and blocked nose usually at night when you sleep. It is very common and even in the global population now, the rising percentage Ooh. is actually quite high. It has a lot of problems with regards to your immune system. You can have skin problems, asthma, food allergies, and all these things are also interrelated when allergic rhinitis comes later. So the problem is when you have skin problems, you also can get breathing issues as well. Ultimately, what happens is your skull becomes doesn't grow properly and then you get crooked teeth, bad jaws. So that is why it's very, very important to treat allergic rhinitis. Yes. So what are the conventional treatments or the treatments that for allergic rhinitis? The most important thing that people need to focus on is actually environmental control. So we need to mm -hmm. always look at the dust and the food. Yeah. We find that a lot of people actually have dairy intolerance, so we have to actually mm. go off dairy. I'm very particular about processed foods, fast foods. A lot of these things also influence allergic symptoms as well. So all these things are a huge influence on the burden of the disease. There's a whole gamut of medications that we use from intranasal steroids, antihistamines. They even have a combination intranasal steroid, antihistamine spray. I love to use those sinus rinses because I think... Oh, yeah. For me, sinus rinse is like brushing teeth nowadays. Everybody should wash their nose like how we brush our teeth every day. It's more advisable to use it every day? Yes, you should use it every day. Before sleep kind of thing? Yep, either, normally I tell them twice a day, morning and night. Ah, so it's yeah. really like a brushing teeth habit. It's really habit. like a brushing teeth. You do it together with it when you, when you wake up in the morning and maybe mm. about an hour before you go to bed. Besides the conventional treatments like all the uh, steroid sprays or antihistamines, do we actually have something that is non-medicated to treat allergic rhinitis? Um, what do you call that? There are a lot of natural products out there and then there's line sprays yeah. and even something like prevalent which is a barrier spray yeah. and then you also have things like a bionet which we are going to be talking about today and many people who use it actually do find it quite effective for symptom relief i must be very clear here that it helps you improve your symptoms, symptoms. but it doesn't take care of the disease itself this bionet uh, device how does it actually work to help us in reducing our symptoms there have been a lot of studies on this red light therapy you know and this red light therapy is actually something where we, it's, it's like an immune modulating kind of a, a beam. Mm -hmm. So what it actually does is, with this red light therapy, it sort of increases the intracellular nitric oxide. Now, we talk about nitric oxide a lot yeah. in breathing in the nose. So nitric oxide in the nose is actually a very important chemical in the nose, which is naturally produced in the nose. It's in our sinuses. If you're breathing, when air flows through your nose, the nitric oxide is actually mixed with this air. And what actually happens is, it is the most potent killing agent in the nose. It kills every bacteria, virus and even fungus. Wow. So it is a real sterilizing agent in the nose. And what is more important is it is actually an immune modulator. Okay. So it actually modulates your immune system, balances your immune system. So it's actually a very important chemical. When air is triggered passing through your nose and you get that nitric oxide, mm. it actually sends a signal to your lungs to dilate the blood vessels to increase your oxygenation. So it's like when air passing through your nose, it's already telling your lungs that it's coming in through. Oh, so okay. that is why all these are very, very important. And to get all this correct, you have to really breathe correctly. Who are the ideal patients that are supposed to use this bionic? I mean, anybody with allergic rhinitis, that means you have sneezing, running nose, itchy eyes, itchy nose, yeah, you can use Bionet as an add-on or a, it depends on what you're treating. Because most of the time when you have these kind of symptoms, a lot of people tend to treat it very lightly and they take it. All these things are available over the counter. They hardly come and see a specialist yes. to get all these things sorted out. <laughs> if you really understand the whole mechanics of all these things and getting it right, actually it's very, very important. I mean, this is key to good health 30, 40 years down the line. In fact, the two important questions I ask my patients, do you know how to breathe? And, and most of them will look at you and they'll be like, oh, what's uh. breathing? You know? <laughs> and for this Bionet device, right, how often do we use it? I think it is recommended that you use it three times a day, but once your symptoms get better and better, you can actually slowly reduce it. I mean, you've tried it before, you've got to sort of clip it into your yeah. nose, so it does feel a little bit uncomfortable the first few times that you use it. And it looks funny though, with two red lights blinking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but then yeah. Uh, as long as it's effective anyway, yeah. do you have any studies to prove the effectiveness of the Bionic? There are a few uh, studies that have shown the efficacy of red light uh, mm. therapy in reducing inflammation. But nitric oxide, yeah, there are plenty of studies okay. about it. Yeah. Um, can pregnant ladies or breastfeeding ladies actually use this Bionic? No issues at all. Yeah, no issue, no issue at, all. at all. Okay, and for young children, how young can we actually start using it? Actually, there's no real... Uh, 
age limit. I used it on my niece when she was three or four years old. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but they say I think in the in the product itself, I think it says it's six, six years, years old. Yeah. yeah. So and this it's product. purely the size that is a problem. Oh, yeah. okay. It depends on how big your nose is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. JJ. We have come to an end for our session. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to speak to any Watson's pharmacies to understand more.